Okay, so I've um, pulled in a, some loops in there, courtesy of Hazardous Funk. This is a track off uh, Chasing Oblivion by Hazardous Funk. I'm just going to use a bit of this to explain side chaining, a couple of the ways of doing side chaining. Okay, so mainly we're, do we're, we're dealing with ducking kick drums and things like that. But uh, first of all, I'm going to make a, a four on the floor kick drum. So I'm just going to solo something, pull in something. Let's deliberately use something nice and generic that, that everybody's got. So I'm going to open the Nexus 24. Uh, I'm going to go to the... I won't go to my personal library because that's not what everyone's got. <laughs> Let's just find a, like an, uh, an 808, 909 type kit, something like that. A 909 will do. So, And don't worry about the the drum that we use necessarily being right for the music for the moment because it's it's more about trigger. We want a drum with a with a fairly uh, sharp attack transient. So now we just okay. So we've got a four on the floor kick drum. There. I'm just going to do this. I'm overly simplifying this. It doesn't have to be a four on the floor. It can be anything you like. So here's a four on the floor kick. The first way of using this as a side chain would be to use it on a send and send it to a bus, right? So we're going to make a bus. A bus we're not going to use. I tend to use a nice higher one. So bus 17, we're going to go side chain. This is way one, right? Which is the way I would use if I wanted a, a side chain that I wanted to be able to change later on. So there we have. Now, it defaults to having the volume up. We do not want the volume up. So we don't want to be able to hear that. And what we also want to do is on this episode we're going to make that pre-fader so whatever we however we put the the kick doesn't affect the kick going to the side chain <clears throat> which i'm going to turn down for a moment view da, 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 da. okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take solo off and what i tend to do on my side chains as well is if you go to the uh let me see if you hold down control while clicking on the solo in the mixing window mixing desk window you will find you can uh make a track solo safe this means this track will carry on playing regardless of whether this track or any of our other tracks is solo so when i solo this So I'm just going to work on these four bars for a second so we can clear this. So the important thing with this is to remember which channel, bus 17, we used for our side chain. Right? The reason that's important is because we're now going to put a compressor in here. Right? Um, by the way, on a slight uh, aside, you will find that uh, all the settings have a... A default they go to, which some of the defaults are pretty useless. Like there's a, the default for the compressor is to turn it up by four dB. I don't understand why that would ever be, apart from making people go, "Wow, that's great." But if you change the settings to what you like, I like a FET, a subtle FET, and I also like auto gain off and my gain at zero, and then save setting as and change the default. Notice the default has the little uh, sharp sign. It's called something cleverer than the sharp sign, but you get what I mean. And the word default. And if I save that into the compressor default, this is how that compressor will open every time I need a compressor. Sorry if I'm sounding a bit stuttery. It's been a long day and it's hardly started yet. Anyway, so now we just put side chain on. And side chain we want to be on this occasion bus 17 and now you can see the compressor is only being affected by the kicks for and above. so let's overdo it I find it's important to watch for it clicking too sharp to get a nice effect the fet's a good one but you want to watch that the milliseconds of the attack being too fast. And then if you're clever, you can make the release time um, in time of the music. You want to want to let it get fully back before the next beat. It's like if I make it a really slow attack, the 
track just stays down. So it's, the release time is really important. And the ratio is how much we are compressing it. I'll do a whole one on the compressor at some point, but this is quite... So you can side change different items all the way down your song by different amounts. Now that's way one of doing a side chain. Let's talk about the second way, which is just using a different source, which sometimes is a little bit less confusing so that you don't have to do all the routing. If I take the file I've made, if I know it's just a four on the floor I require, I can then just go bounce in place and call it side chain. And we'll now have an audio track called side chain. Uh, be aware that it doesn't necessarily name the track. Here is the name of the whole track, whereas this is just the, uh, the name of the whole channel, sorry which is a lot more useful now. I mean, if you don't name the whole channel, then later on, uh, it, uh, it can use that same track for something else. So uh, that's a bit stupid. You can change the uh, default settings of that in here, by the way, in configure track header, which you can say auto name, track name, channel, channel strip name. Anyway, I digress. So now, back to what I was talking about, instead of using the bus 17 for sidechain, putting the loop back on, we could use track 3, notice that we have called it sidechain, chain, or we've, we've called it chain, do you get what I mean? You see why it's important to actually name the track, so that we get a name here that makes sense. Okay. So now, and once again, we'd also want to turn off by pressing control and clicking on the solo button, make it solo safe. That's what I was trying to talk about earlier, trying to use the expression solo safe. So that's, I'm doing it ridiculously over the top just so you can hear what it's doing. And bear in mind also, once you've done this, you can automate the amount of compression it's doing. So literally at different parts of a song, you could make that default, default to nothing and just at certain passages bring it in. a better one later on when I got more time now I must get back on with some work as I say that was uh, a little bit excerpt of Chasing Oblivion from Hazardous Funk check them out online